Fusion Transistor. So we have two types of junction transistor. Here we can, we can write junction transistor. There are two types of junction transistor, PNP transistor and NPN transistor. PNP transistor and right hand side we can write NPN transistor, NPN transistor. PNP transistor and other type of transistor is NPN transistor. Now, if we draw NPN transistor, uh, in that case, a thin layer of P-type semiconductor in between two relatively thick layers of N-type semiconductor um, is uh, grown. In that case, this is N type semiconductor and here a thin layer of P type semiconductor then longest part of this junction uh, NPN transistor is this one and this junction transistor has three terminals has three terminals these are the three terminals of junction transistor and this is N region and this is P region and N uh, region. N region and we have three terminals. These are the three terminals. This terminal is emitter, this terminal is base and this terminal is collector. In NPN transistor, uh, this is n-type emitter, here uh, majority charge carriers are conduction electrons. These are conduction electrons and holes are minority charge carriers. And this is n-type emitter. Uh, e is the uh, terminal of emitter and this is n-type emitter. And this is emitter. which is made of n-type semiconductor emitter and which is n-type emitter and also and this is what collector this is collector which is also n-type uh, collector in n-type collector again uh, Majority charge carriers are conduction electrons. Majority charge carriers are conduction electrons and holes are minority charge carriers. Holes are minority charge carriers. And uh, here uh, the middle portion is known as base or the thin layer of P-type semiconductor is known as the base of the junction transistor. and uh, majority charge carriers in p type base is uh, hole conduction electrons this dot means conduction electrons are minority charge carriers and this is what obviously thinnest part of junction transistor and uh, this is known as the base which has holes as majority charge carriers base in this case base is made of what type of semiconductor p type semiconductor p type is made of p type semiconductor p type semiconductor and in this case emitter has highest uh, majority charge uh, majority charge carrier density here emitter has uh, what is the nature emitter is n type in this case emitter is made of n type semiconductor and emitter has highest among emitter collector and base emitter has the highest majority charge carrier density emitter has the highest majority charge carrier density and in this case base 
uh, this is the base what will be the nature this is the thinnest part uh, thinnest part of junction pen transistor thin layer uh, and uh, in this case under bracket of collector what we can write collector is the longest part of junction transistor so it is the longest part it is the longest part longest part of jun junction transistor and what is the function of emitter what is the function of emitter uh, emitter emits majority charge carriers emitter emits uh, majority charge carriers what we can write emitter emits or it emits emitter emits majority charge carriers majority charge carriers emitter emits majority charge carriers In this case, uh, majority charge carriers is what? Uh, conduction electrons. Conduction electrons. Majority charge carriers are conduction electrons. For NPN transistor, obviously it should be conduction electrons. That means emitter emits what type of electrons or what type of particles? Conduction electrons. Conduction electrons. Emitter emits majority charge carriers and according to uh, this type of NPN transistor, N-type emitter emits conduction electrons. N-type emitter emits conduction electrons. Conduction electrons. And under bracket of base, what you can write? What is the function of base? the base provides the proper interaction between the emitter and collector in this case what we can write the base what is the function of p type base base provides base provides the proper interaction provides the proper interaction provides the proper interaction between the emitter and the collector between the emitter and the collector emitter is e and collector is c and uh, the collector and what is the function of collector that is we have to mention in this case, so what is the function of collector? The collector collects the major majority charge carriers. Collector, what is the function of collector? That is we have to mention. In this case, collector collects the majority charge carriers. Collector collects. Collects the majority charge carriers from emitter via base. Via base collects the majority charge carriers <clears throat> collects the majority charge carriers majority charge carriers from the emitter from the emitter through the base through the base through 